Welcome back to the channel. In the last video that we did, we ha we added a new current to our WooCommerce, and that was the Ab Kazir Kopek, and that is shared in Russian. So we have the Kopek in Russian. However, as we are looking at the countries here, we realize that we don't have Abkhazia showing up here. So in our plugin that we created last time here, I'm just going to add a new country here. And we use that uh, having a very short piece of code that I'm going to run you through and help you understand. We have a short code snippet that is available on the WooCommerce docs here. I'll just copy it and explain it in the way that it works. So after copying this code and pasting it in our function here, let me explain what this means. In WooCommerce, we have another filter called our WooCommerce countries. And this one allows us to have countries uh, added to our function. So for example, they had a handsome bearded guy add my country but I'm going to just change this and some guy here and change it to take a press because I'm a little vain but this is to help us make this so unique so you can always add anything else before your functions to make it a little unique now you create a new function and this function will have a country's argument passed in now what you're going to do is at the end of the day you return the countries in here but in this case we've had an array merge of sort what we did in the previous video and had just this happening here now we are creating a new array and saying we shall have a country which is called nire for northern ireland and we'll have this translatable into any other language that is supported and then we'll use a new function here called array merge we'll get our countries which we initially have and then we shall add on to it our new array of content here which has our our country here so let me just comment this out for now and then we're going to add our new country which is called Abkhazia and then uh, I'm going to quickly look for what it is called in the ISO so we have its code as GEAB here so I'll come here and I'll say GE dash AB and then I'm going to add our Abkhazia at the end here. So let me refresh uh, our WooCommerce and see whether this will come up. So if we come to country or state, we can now look for Abkhazia and we have it right here. Now this is brilliantly done. The only thing that we are left to do is add our country into a particular uh, continent. So this is what this code here actually does. So I'll uncomment it and we'll see that it also has a filter of WooCommerce continents which is a uh, very very descriptive uh, as a filter and we have our function here and now we're having a continent passed into this function and at the end of the day we return it so we get this continent push it here and say our continent in this particular case is going to actually be Asia and we shall be adding a country which country we shall be getting this short code and adding it here and getting done with this so let's look at how WooCommerce handles Asia. So the way WooCommerce handles Asia is by adding a S. So we'll have that and we'll actually be done adding this into our continent. So thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so because we'll be having more videos of how to make your WooCommerce more custom for your needs. So thank you for watching and bye-bye.